What's going on guys? It's your boy Devin or Tzatzeki back here with a brand new YouTube video. Today's video I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a very clean professional like you know content creator League of Legends type thumbnail. If you guys just stay tuned in the video I'll show you guys how to do it right here. All right so right now we're in Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can guys can get all these type of layers. Uh, I usually just add some shadow for like some very in-depth more kind of like focusing on the picture um, I added this brush around the border and I also added this PNG image of lethal and tempo I also have the text I have that grouped in the number two and I have these images for like the items you guys are gonna be using in the video so I kind of made this little uh, got these PNG images and I just took them off the internet um, also I have this I also have this background image so I just got a picture of Draven off the web with just uh, the skin, you know, it doesn't really have to be the skin you guys have to use or in the game, you know, you can just put any skin. But if you guys are playing a certain skin in the video, I recommend you guys put that in there so, that, you know, grab some attention to the viewer. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make this brand new. So I'm going to open up a new file. So we're going to do the width for our picture is 1920 by 1080. That's the most recommended size for most of those on if any of you to video. So I'm just going to press create. All right, so now we have our background image. Um, once you guys have an image that you guys want and you guys want to give it blur, you guys are gonna go to the very top right here where it's just the file settings and stuff like that. Just go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. And the Gaussian blur, I gave it around was like maybe like 16 pixels. Since I already gave it Gaussian blur, there's no really no point for me to do it. If you guys want more blur, you guys can add more blur to it, but I'm just gonna leave it how it is. And we're gonna open up a new layer and then press G on our keyboard. Um, if you guys are new to Photoshop, it might be on the paint bucket tool, but if you guys go to and just right click on the paint bucket tool or the gradient tool, you'll get the gradient tool. Just press G on your keyboard and it'll give you the tool right away. And then I left click and hold over to the corner and I had this like kind of like, you know, the drag race of like this color scheme. Like I don't know how to call it, but I did this and I went over to filters and I went to soft light. That's going to give it to give the color background the color that I want kind of in a black and white filter but with purple instead and then we have that so I went on Google images and I just looked up prime time Draven and now we're just gonna go ahead and fade in our skin into the background of the video so we're gonna go ahead and just transform this you guys can hold control T to crop it and then hold alt and just left click the any around the corner anywhere on the uh, on this picture and you can just drag it and you'll be able to resize it in any way you guys how you want it so i'm just gonna head press ctrl t and then move it somewhere in the corner of the video so we can have enough space for our text just press ok e on the keyboard is going to allow us to bring up the eraser tool so we're going to press e and if it's not the eraser tool you can just go up right click on it and just go to eraser tool so if you guys hold ctrl alt and hold right click and move it side to side it gives you guys a uh, set of size you guys want to set up the brush and um this doesn't really matter what size you guys put it to honestly i'm just going to be showing you guys how you guys can do it like this pretty easy uh and you press up and down it literally gives you the different types of opacity you guys want to use so i'm just going to like put it somewhere around 12 11 percent i'm just going to brush out the area of our, like our skin resize boom so it's nice since you guys have done that I kind of just shaded out some of the half of the skin, make sure that it's not focusing too much on this left side that we're gonna add our text and basically have it that from there. Now, since you guys are done, you guys can go ahead and just add the pictures of the items you're gonna be using in the video. So I added the picture, kind of like the shadow in the background. Uh, I just went over here. I went to FX, went to blending options and i added a stroke and it changed the color to white of course and then you know it's just around seven percent ten percent doesn't really matter uh just the way you guys might like it keep it at about 10 pixels there um and then also if you guys want to add the kind of the shadow in the back i just went to over to outer glow and i added made it black of course uh you can change the opacity to how dark you want it to want it to be change the size a little bit and then boom uh so we ha we have it right there and we just it just looks just like that one right there and i'm just gonna go ahead and do that with the same of the other pictures boom so i did that and uh, you guys can rotate the image to however you guys want 
you know, I'm just gonna rotate the image like that a little bit more, you know, give a little bit more spice to it. So I looked up the picture for Lethal Tempo and it gave me this black background. And some of you guys might think like, oh no, there's no, there's probably no PNG image for this black background for Lethal Tempo. It's all right because most PNG images come in black sometimes and some of them will come in transparent. And this is very easy to fix. You guys can just go ahead and right click on the layer, go to blending options. And then you'll see this thing called Blood If. Uh, just hold Alt and the right side of the arrow, you'll be able to move this function tool and just put it around like around here and boom, you guys have the PNG image of a lethal tempo, which is pretty easy to get rid of. So for the text, text is pretty easy. Um, I, I like to use very bold font and bold font kind of creates a better uh, appealing, you know, it, it kind of says a lot more when I use this um, massive font and I think uh, any type of font should work but if you guys are like more artistic side or you guys just wanted to add a more spice to your guys this font you guys go ahead and do that the font i'll be using is named paint it you guys can literally find it on a thousand fonts.com and um it's pretty good bold font i really like it and i just use all caps by the way the way i'm also gonna be putting um a group layer onto this uh text that we have we're working on you guys can just go ahead and just left click and then shift on top of the two text layers that you guys have and just press Control g and then uh, you, this will allow us to transform the layer so we can like you know resize it put it anywhere you want and then boom you guys literally have it right there you guys have your text um you guys gonna add layer styles i also have a layer style video how we can get stuff like this you know how to get the different types of styles you can guys put your guys font different colors and stuff like that you guys can just look at that video there and i'll keep it up on the very top corner you guys can watch that video um now since you guys want to get over here go back to my um old thumbnail that i made right here and i'll be showing you guys how you guys can make this kind of brush tool around here very simple easy just make a new layer and press b on your keyboard it allows to bring up the brush tool if you don't have a brush tool it's probably at the pencil tool and just right click and just go to brush tool and um you know i think since the picture was kind of purple we're gonna make it pink so like it's not the same color as the purple background, so it doesn't blend in as much. So we can be able to see the brush. And then boom, you guys have it right there. You guys can change the different types of um, blending options here. I think I'd like, uh, I think this pin light looks nice. Change the opacity a little bit. It might maybe look too bright for you guys too. And then add a new layer and then change the color picker tool over to black. So we can give some shadow to it. And then boom, there you guys have it. So basically almost identical as the picture right here that we'll have here i just didn't add the layer styles that kind of like, like ticks, ticks up one more time if you guys want to learn how to do add layer styles to your guys' text make sure you just kind of give me a like on the channel it means a lot and also on the comments of the videos thank you for this for um, appreciation on my last videos um i didn't really think that people would be able to be watching my videos like how you it used to be you know and um thank you for you guys coming to my videos i appreciate it i still got content out for photoshop I know sometimes I feel like I'm not going to be there for all the times for the Photoshop tutorials, but I'm really trying. I'm really trying to go into work on making videos for Alpha Studio, and I just feel like maybe that's the space I really want to be at right now. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys have any comments about this tutorial, make sure to leave down in the comment down below. Make sure to um, join my Discord. I have my Discord active, so if you guys ever want to ask me questions for Photoshop, just leave a, leave a comment. Add me on Discord, you know, anything I'm willing to help. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And this has been it. It's your boy Demon Seki, and I'm out.